so today we are going to talk about prisms and their uses. In video, we are going to discuss it very superficially, we will discuss one by one things in later video. So this video is all about basic of prisms. What kind of prisms do we have, what are their uses and things like that. Prism is a refracting medium. An ophthalmic prism is a wedge of transparent plastics or glass, with a triangular, cross section having an, apex and a base. The image formed by a prism is erect, virtual, and displaced towards the apex of the prism, however light rays that passes from prism bend towards base of it. So in this image you can see, P the straight line in which the two surfaces meet is called the refracting edge, or apex, of the prism. The surface parallel to the edge which limits the width of their, faces, is called the base of the prism. The apical angle, A, of the prism is the angle between the two faces. Those prisms which have lower power and small apex angle, can be easily used in spectacles lenses and contact lenses. Those prisms which have higher power and large apex angle, used to measure angles of strabismus, how much eye is deviated from its normal position. Let us discuss the types, of prisms, used commonly in clinics. We have, prism bars, it is a graduated series of prisms mounted on a frame and used in ocular diagnosis. As you can see, in this picture here. We are those heavy loose prisms, they are nothing but single pieces of prisms, you can allow see this in this picture. Trial prisms are found in trail box, that is why it is called as trial prisms. These prisms used for different purposes. That is diagnostic, investigation, therapeutics and treatment. Let's talk about difference between prisms bars and loose prisms are. The prism bar has a power of up to 40 D. Progressive changes in power, the power of the loose prism is 30 D and 45 D. The bars are simple to grip appropriately, and the total measurement is the horizontal and vertical variances are more precise. There, authors advocated for their usage. Both kind of prisms used in diagnostic purposes, prism bars used for, Krimsky test, prism reflection test, prism cover test, PCT, post-operative diplopia test, fusional amplitudes, test for suppression. While loose prisms used for, visual acuity testing in pre-verbal children. The tent test is similar and can be used regardless of whether a manifest squint is present. It involves the promotion of diplopia using a ten vertical prism. The alternation between the diplopic targets suggests equal visual acuity. In therapeutics prisms, we have Fresnel prism bar is useful to demonstrate the effect, or the prisms can be held in front of the patient's eyes before they are prescribed. Temporary prisms can be used diagnostically and therapeutically. Prisms also, used in convergence insufficiency, base in prisms prescribed in convergence insufficiency, the practitioner will usually prescribe the least amount of prism necessary to achieve comfortable BS at near. Base and prism glasses are effective at reducing C symptoms in presbyopic patients. Prism can be also used in treatment treatment of consecutive exotropia, convergence insufficiency, ptosis, third, nerve palsy, fourth nerve palsy, sixth nerve palsy, Duane syndrome, nystigmus, diplopia, incompetent heterophoria, intermittent distance exotropia, intermittent near exotropia, intermittent distance exotropia, so, it was quick overview of prisms. In our next videos we will explain it in more detail.